Hey, the Marlins are here. They've lost five in a row. Maybe some of what they've been through has finally caught up with their ball club, but they are getting some of their regulars back. More on that when we give you their lineup. Bob and FP, good to be home, even if it's just the players who returned. And uh, even though the team plays on the road or at home, one thing stays constant. It's that kid in left field. Yeah I'm, good. yeah, I'm confused where we're ever at right now. I think we get to turn around and watch baseball tonight, which is cool. We don't have to watch it on TV. But I think Juan Soto's mention in the open reaches Cal Ripken streaks tonight. We keep mentioning Juan Soto because he's doing Juan Soto things. The Mid-Atlantic Soto Network continues. He's homered once every 6.86 at-bats. That would be the most in baseball if he qualified. He's only played 13 games. And he's only homered seven times in 13 games. So do the math, Juan Soto doing amazing things we can't talk about him enough he's just so much fun to watch his at bats are an event he answers people that are chirping to him with home runs you name it in 13 games Juan Soto's done it with flair seven game hitting streak five and eleven the power numbers over that time 11 RBIs I continue to be impressed by how Often, Juan Soto's making contact. He's hardly striking out at all. And it's Patrick Corbin tonight against the Marlins to open things up. Last year, four starts, 3-0 with a one-and-a-half ERA. 29 strikeouts, a complete game. So the Nats have one of their aces on the mound tonight. This is a five-game series with a doubleheader on Saturday that goes into Monday. Game one of this marathon with the fish straight ahead. Three, humidity in the low 60s and the Marlins are 10th in the league in hitting they have a minus seven on their runs Jonathan VR he's their key guy with seven career hits in an RBI against Patrick Corbin Miguel Rojas is back tonight they've got some of their relievers back to bolster their bullpen and first of all it's Patrick Corbin four and one career against Miami yeah three and oh with a one five five against the fish last year in four starts the last start was the 15th against the Orioles. And we're underway right on time with a strike at 6.05. They gave up five runs on eight hits last start over five innings. And he said after the game, it's just one of those days. So he's looking to be a little more sharp here today against the Marlins. We are at 2 3. How he's still not back in the lineup. The Nats hope to see him tomorrow. Jan Gomes, 8 for 21. He really came alive. Going the opposite way with a lot of his hits on the road trip. Young Mr. Garcia behind Cabrera. How about Luis Garcia up in the number five spot? And here's Eliezer Hernandez, 25 years of age. Fourth career start against the Nats. 0 and 2 against our ball club with an 8 ERA. Six foot 214. Last start August 16th against the Braves. Took a real tough luck loss. Went five shutout. Gave up just three hits. Struck out nine Braves. Didn't walk one. 81 pitches, 57 for strikes. A little crossfire action. He'll step right at right-handers, throw across his body, a lot like Max Scherzer. Trey Turner had three hits in RBI on base four times in the two-game Atlanta series. And pretty... I